Okay, number 10. So this one is finally using our segment theorems. Um, so if we have um, two guys intersecting outside, um, it'll be different than inside, but outside is the whole secant segment, so this whole thing, which is 11, times the external secant segment, two, is equal to the whole secant segment, in this case, y, times the external part, y. And that's it. So we get 22 is equal to y squared, and then square root, square root, and y is equal to second square root of 22, 4.69, so we'll just say 4.7. And that's it. All right, little Mr. Escher is going to help us with this one. Um, it is kind of tricky, so here we go. Um, we're going to use the fact that this radius can be drawn anywhere we want. So normally this would be a pretty simple problem and be this chunk times this chunk equals this chunk times that chunk. But um, they did not give us this chunk, so we're going to have to kind of figure it out. So that guy's 12 because it's a radius and all radii are the same. That also means that this whole thing is 12, which means this little chunk right there is 12 minus x. All right, because it's the whole thing minus that little x part. All right, so eight times 10 should equal uh, these little parts multiplied together. So x times so that's this little chunk. And then this chunk is 12 minus x plus 12. All right, so we're going to multiply. That's 80. And then this guy, I'm going to combine what's in, <clears throat> excuse me, the parentheses first. So that's going to be 24 minus x, because I have 12 and 12. And then I'm just going to distribute. Um, that x, so I'm going to get 80, is equal to 24x minus x squared. And this problem is getting pretty deep, deep into algebra. So we're going to have to factor this thing. So if we're going to factor, we need to add everything to one side. So I'm going to add that x squared. I'm going to minus that 24x and we're going to get positive x squared <laughs> minus 24x plus 80 equals 0. Okay, and hopefully from algebra you remember to factor, you ask yourself what multiplies to be 80 and adds to be 24. So 4 and 20 probably do it. So if I have x minus 4 x minus 20. Um, that will give me a negative 24 and that will multiply to be a positive 80 equals 0. So I have x equals 4 and x equals 20. And um, plugging in to see if it works, we will find that the 20 does not work and x is equal to 4. That was a doozy. Sorry about that. All right, number 12, I think, is also going to um, give us a little bit of factoring that we're going to have to remember. So um, we have two guys. They're intersecting outside, so it's the whole secant segment. So this whole thing right here is z plus 12 times the external secant segment, z, is equal to the whole secant segment, 12 times the external secant segment, 4. It's good to cover factoring. That's what you're going to be doing in Algebra 2 anyway. Okay, so we're going to get z squared plus 12z is equal to 48. And I'm going to minus that 48 to the other side, setting everything equal to 0, just like before. z squared plus 12z minus 
48 equals 0. All right, and this guy does not um, factor. So I can't think of anything that multiplies to be 48 and adds to be 12. Multiplies to be a negative 48 and adds to be a positive 12. Okay, so that means we're going to need to use the quadratic formula. So z is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Whew, you remember that? All right, so we're going to get 12 squared. That is 144 plus 4 times 48 is 192. So adding those up, 336 all over 2. And the square root of 336 is 18.3. Okie dokie. And so 18.3. Um, if we were to minus this, we'd get a negative answer, and we can't have a negative solution um, for a segment length. So we're going to just add positive 12 and, I'm sorry, negative 12 and positive 18.3. And that's going to give us 6.33 divided by 2, 3.165. So we'll just round it to 3.2. Oops. There you go. Woofty. Definitely an algebra review. Okay, number 13. Yet again, kind of putting a lot of things together. Um, so the first thing I notice is I have a right triangle here. Um, they're asking us to find the whole diameter. If that is a right angle, I know that that's going to be congruent to that. So this guy is 6. And then um, I also am noticing I have a little right triangle here. So I can use Pythagorean theorem to do a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. All right, we're just going to, so I multiplied those out for you, and then we're going to subtract 36 from both sides. And a squared is equal to 64 square root square root and a is equal to 8. So that means this whole big length right here is 8, but it doesn't tell me this little chunk and I need that little chunk. So I can figure out um, what the whole diameter is. I'm going to call that little chunk x. So I'm just going to do 8 times x. So this chunk times this chunk is equal to 6 times 6. So 8x equals 36, divide by 8 on both sides, 36 divided by 8 is 4.5, and that's it. All right, on number 14, um, we've got these guys intersecting outside, so we're going to use that whole secant segment times external secant segment thing. Um, I don't know what this part is, so I'm going to say x. All right, so the whole secant segment is 12 plus x times the external secant segment is 12 equals the whole tangent segment, 24, times the external tangent segment, 24. All right, and now we're just going to distribute, so we get 144 plus 12x equals 24 times 24 is 576. We're going to minus 144 from both sides. And we get 12x is equal to 432 divided by 12. And our little chunk is equal to 36. Last but not least, sorry, this is the longest video I have ever recorded. Um, so we have to use that trick again. We know that when this guy is perpendicular, these are going to be congruent. So that's also a 4. 
And then this is my little unknown part. So, um, and remember at the end, we need to add it to, um, to this little chunk to get the whole diameter. All right, so um, I'll just call that guy x. So three times x is equal to four times four. So three x is equal to 16 divide by three. And so x, so 16 divided by three is 5.33333, we'll just call it 5.3. All right, so if that little chunk is 5.3 and this little chunk is three, the diameter, oops, is three plus 5.3, so 8.3. And there we go. We're done. Have a good one.